let me go to the last question which asks you to identify the true statement so it says a person contracting chickenpox will develop passive natural immunity now this is false because when you get a disease first of all that is natural immunity which is right but when you get a disease the body begins to produce antibodies so that is active immunity so this is active natural immunity so therefore this statement is false the second one so this is a false statement aids is a disease where the recognition apparatus breaks down this is also false because the recognition apparatus breaks down in autoimmune diseases and autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis uh, Graves disease, lupus, and so on. AIDS is a disease where the immune system is compromised because the helper T cells are, which are also known as CD4 cells. So the helper T cells, which are the most important cells uh, in the immune system, uh, these cells are destroyed. So if these cells are destroyed, then the cloning of the cytotoxic and the uh, B lymphocytes cannot occur so the immune system is totally compromised so this is different it's not as if the recognition apparatus breaks down it is a condition AIDS where instead the virus attacks the immune system and knocks off these helper T cells so the recognition system uh, apparatus is functioning fine it's just that the immune system is compromised because if you don't have helper T cells, then cloning cannot occur and the other immune cells cannot carry out their functions. The third uh, statement, memory cells identify antigens which have been encountered previously and they mount a faster immune response. This is true because this is the function of memory cells. The memory cells, uh, they in their memory, they sort of keep... Uh, the knowledge of antigens which have been encountered frequently uh, or previously and what they do is the next time they come in contact with the antigen they mount a faster immune response so this is the true statement but let's go and look at the other ones helper t cells produce immunoglobulins this is false t cells don't produce immunoglobulins it is b cells which do that and in b cells it is the plasma cells which do that so therefore this is a false statement and then lastly, the tubal tonsil is lined by pseudostratified ciliated epithelium and lies in the oropharynx. The first part of the statement is correct, but the tubal tonsil does not lie in the oropharynx, it lies in the nasopharynx. So hence the importance of reading all the statements very, very carefully. And you must be able to identify, you know, where structures are lying and what they are lined by. So therefore, you can see only the first part is correct, but the second part is wrong. So most students make a mistake when they don't read the sentence carefully. So this finishes this critical thinking video.